Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Tanisha, a data science graduate from BrainStation. I'm a programming instructor and data researcher. I love working with technology to solve problems and make life easier for decision makers and customers. I'm here today to present my machine learning capstone project. Fun fact, Ed Sheeran has the most streamed song on Spotify. Who wouldn't want to have the same fame and popularity and the dollars that go with it? Artists and producers want to know what ingredients will make their song a hit. That's what my presentation is all about. So the user journey is as follows. We make a song, extract its features, then use my model to predict the popularity. As simple as that. The data was extracted from Spotify's API and has data from thousands of songs from the last decade. The variable of interest is song popularity. It's a score created by Spotify from 0 to 100, used to evaluate the likelihood of popularity. Higher scores are more likely to get more streams. Here are just a few of the variables I use to predict song popularity. Song duration is normally distributed. Other features like danceability, acousticness, and audio valence are a score between 0 and 1. In this presentation, I will walk you through how I cleaned the data, performed regression modeling, did machine learning for a binary classification problem, and spent a lot of time improving the accuracy. Stay tuned for the final results. So one of the many things I did for EDA was engineering features, looking at correlations, and dealing with outliers shown in these box plots. I also went with a min-max scalar to improve my model performance because many of the song features were already measured from zero to one. After doing a regression analysis, I was getting very low accuracy scores. The models were not good at predicting song popularity, so I got feedback from instructors and colleagues that this is indeed a very difficult problem. So I decided to reframe the problem in a way that addresses the business problem and still provides value. Songs with a score 52 and above are a bop or success, and lower were flops. 52 was very strategically chosen because it gave a 50-50 class balance, which improves the model performance. I critically thought about the data using QQ plots and used object-oriented programming to create the best model possible, working with k-nearest neighbors, decision trees, and random forest classifiers. I ended up with a support vector classifier model with a higher accuracy than what was achieved in the Kaggle competition for this data set. One song classified as popular was Happier by Marshmallow. An unpopular song is Details by Oliver Heldens. Popular songs are about three and a half minutes in length, have professional studio sound quality, are on the louder side in a major key, and the words don't dominate over the music. In the future, I would use song lyrics and filter by genre to determine popularity. The kind of modeling I did is extensible to so many domains, like retail, sports, tech, and financial services. I learned that real-world data can be messy, and sometimes a simple model can lead to better accuracy. So use this model, put some heart and soul into the music, and you can make it as a popular artist. I hope this presentation struck a chord with you. Thank you so much for watching.